Welcome back, Coastal Bay Meteorologist Diamond Dixon here. Well, it is looking certainly beautiful outside. I mean, look at that sunset pretty much uh, preparing. Well, we still have that cold front on the way that we're all looking forward to. We did have a couple of showers that moved through some of our neighborhoods earlier, but once again, we're all looking forward to that cooler air. Well, looking forward to our temperatures right now at 81 in Ingleside, 80 in Port Aransas, as well as the Naval Air Station, 84 here in Corpus Christi, 83 in Robstown, and 87 there in Kingsville. So we're slowly getting out of those warmer temperatures. We'll notice a bigger degree drop as we go into our nighttime hours. Well, current winds are also taking that shift from the southeast to more so the north, and they've calmed down a bit. Then you may have noticed this morning that winds were definitely howling outside overnight into our Monday morning in between that 20 to 25 mile per hour range without wind gusts. So we did have a gusty uh, wind day for us, but as far as now into the evening into our Tuesday, those winds will remain pretty light and moderate coming from the north as that cold front continues to push towards southeast Texas. Well, we're hanging in the 70s until about nine o'clock tonight, and then you can also see there we're still on that north wind pattern, very light winds. And then as we go into our overnight hours, we come out of the 60s by 3 a.m. and we're saying hello to the 50s. So when you wake up tomorrow morning, it'll feel a little bit cooler outside than what it did today. Are we muggy? Not so much so. Well, that's also because of that cold front coming in. It's going to be cooler, drier air that we'll see until about Thursday. We go up to about muggy by this weekend, but for the most part, we'll have dry, cool air. That's going to be the name of the game for this week, and that's also going to taper off our rain chances. Today was going to be that best opportunity of seeing rain between isolated and widely scattered. But for the most part after today, yeah, no more rain for about the rest of the week into the weekend. Now, as far as Doppler radar shows us the last six hours here of some of those showers kind of trickulating through the coastal bend. Some parts of our neighborhood saw rain, some didn't. This wasn't the kind of rain that would have been super meaningful to our watershed, but it was just what needed to come through. It was a quick moving system to bring that cold front after it. So. Looking at our temperature for the next six to 10 days outlook, this is November 24th through the 28th. This is a Thanksgiving week there. Well, we're going to look about normal in Texas. So ideally, those temperatures will still look pretty nice for this time of year, not so much above normal. But looking here at our forecast highs, we take this dip Wednesday into Thursday of this week, where we'll be a little bit closer to our normal range of average temperatures. And we kind of go above normal into our Thanksgiving week and then right around Thanksgiving's where it looks like we're on the cusp of below normal. Well, if you're wanting to prepare for the week, though, ahead, of course, once again, we have cooler temperatures to look forward to Wednesday through Friday. We're going to finally start feeling like fall again here in the coastal bend. This cold front is going to last a little bit longer than our last one. So let's look forward to some temperatures in the 50s overnight and in the morning.